G'day guys, what is up? Welcome to Motorfields. I'm Rob Hamilton, so nice to see you all. Today we are out and about, fresh morning start. It's like seven degrees, pretty nippy. Me and Nick, Nick from Triumph Australia, we're gonna go for a little ride. We're gonna go for a little moto vlog. The moto vlog sesh with the boys. He just bought himself a, a speed triple. It's his first bike ever. He just bought it like a couple of weeks ago. Could have even been last week, I'm not sure. And he's pumped to take it out. And I'm pumped to see it as well. It's gonna be sick. So we're gonna go up through the old Pacific Highway, the pie in the sky for a pie. And then um yeah, we'll just we'll just hang out, we'll just froth. But we'll sort of see how this day turns out. We've got nothing really planned apart from just getting a pie. <laughs> We love pies. Pies are great. He's Canadian as well, so like, you've met him. You guys have seen him before. If you haven't, check it out. I'll link the video up here. He's an absolute ledge. Let's me take the. He works at. He works at Triumph Australia, so it's a nice little hook up there. And he's Canadian, so Canadians apparently love pies. Well, he does. Maybe I just made that up. I could have made that up, but he loves a good, a good pie. All right, so we're almost there. Ready park. Ready park. Ready park. Let's in there. There it is. Looks good, eh? Hey? It is quite the nippy day. Holy moly, I'm still not used to this. First ride, this is like a first partner coupled ride since the weather's gotten whack. By whack, I mean cold. Ah, uh, you should be here. There we go. Ah, yeah. What's up, brother? <laughs> Finally, so we've been we've been trying to tee this up for so long. Three months, easy. Yeah, about three months. Yeah, it was all through the pandemic crap. But now, this is the day. Oh, I'm stoked. Do you want a coffee? Yeah, let's get a coffee. Yes, let's get coffee. Nick bought his just like last week, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. and this is it. So what is the difference between a speed and a street triple? Oh, big motors. So a street triple, the 675. So this is the 2011 to 2015 era. Uh, it's kind of when they introduced the little kind of bug eyes instead of the globes. Ah, I see. So that was their kind of coming out of the 2010 phase. But then that was the 675 Daytona, 675 Street Triple, and then this was the Speed Triple, so this was like the big daddy. It but is, like, and it is big, hey. Is it, it is chunky. Like, look at that. It's very chunky. A tank compared to mine. 2012, they released the R version, so fully adjustable, Olin's TTX suspension on the rear, Olin's on the front. Even uh, Triumphs nowadays have show on the front. Oh, that. If brands make a difference for some people, but usually when people see gold fork Olins back in like five years ago, frothing, and now everyone just does a gold kind of seal on the fork. Uh, so you don't know right. if it's Olins anymore. Sure. But prior to like 2017, if you saw gold, it's strict Olins. And you get dual four pop Brembo's on the front, single Brembo on the rear. That. And the R comes with all the fun carbon bits, right? Like yeah, you sure. It off. But yeah, man. And you can't half tell you're a sales guy. Naturally, <laughs> naturally as well. I, I was doing my I just, intro. I just do what I do. I was doing my intro yesterday and I literally pitched myself on buying my bike and I was just like, wow, you suck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just tell it to yourself. All right, let's yeah. get on. Let's, let's get an, on amongst it. Getting there, man, I gotta pee so bad. That coffee has gone through my body. It has gone through my body. Quick wee break before we before we hit the big ones. Boy ah, man, I'm busting away, hey. Good, good times. Had the tunes pumping. <laughs> I'm tuneless. You're tuneless. I, I'm tuneless. Yeah. Why tuneless? I have no tunes. Oh uh, no, it's all right. It's good feeling the you know hearing the stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna pee. What? No way. Closed. Uh, damn it. Well, that, that is the chicks one. <laughs> oh, where's the dudes one? What's this open? Oh, it's locked. Oh, the boys are out. Everyone's out. This looks sick. I mean, how are you? Um, are your toilets open? Oh. Both of them closed? Alright, uh, no worries. Thanks, man. Damn it. Oh, man, the boys are officially on. This looks interesting. 
At least I know the cops won't be after me <laughs> on my 55 HP scrambler. Boya! Is that the Hero 8? No, it's 4. Oh, is that 4? Okay, I do my research. For all you budget ballers, is it rolling? Yeah. For all you budget ballers out there who can't afford a Hero 7 like this one, <laughs> the Hero 4 shoots 4K. Oh, does shoot 4K? Yes. Wow. The first 4K, so setting that 4K, ah. 24 frames per second. Done. Man, these boys look like they're on, hey? They are on. Ah, there you go. Hero 4 in, in for the win. I have no idea what he's saying. Can't believe it's damn closed. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. All the boys. Look at that. <laughs> he loves it. He loves his Dreamtime helmet. <laughs> K1. K1 Dreamtime, baby. He froths. He loves Australia, man. He loves Australia. See you, boys. Yeah, sick. So his fuel gauge wasn't working. He had a full tank of fuel and we went to the survey. Oh, right oh Hector's. Ah, there's an unmarked cop car. So Black Hyundai is on his unmarked cop car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. That was nice of that dude to mention that. Is he pulled out? No, nah, he's waiting for these other boys. Oh, it's so creepy. Damn cops. Damn, we're just waiting to just, just to nab ya. They're just waiting. And I mean, we're just, we're just having a good time, bro. Having a good old fashioned laugh. Is it pointing back enough? So when you're leaning down, yeah, point it up. Like swing it, swing it back. Can it swing back? <laughs> it's got the old chesty cracking. You saw my previous GoPro tutorials is like, man, I gotta get on that. It's like, yes, you do, bro. But he, um, he doesn't have the mounts or anything for his helmet. He doesn't want to stick a GoPro one on there because it's like a really nice white helmet. So he's got the chesty, and the chesty works fine. But he just has to lean it back, angle it back a little bit more because right now I reckon he's just shooting his tank. <laughs> gotta get the angle of the dangle. I guess this is the test run for him. And then, uh, yeah, he's still sussing it. <laughs> The poos are definitely out. Oh, that makes me so nervous. I still have to pee. I never, I didn't even get to go to pee. Apparently, pie in the sky is not too far away, so we'll suss it out, eh? There it is. What is it? What'd you get? Oh, uh, chunky pepper stick. Chunky pepper chunky. stick. Ooh. So you don't, you don't, do you get these in Canada? No. You don't? Pies don't exist in North America. Wow. And they don't. It's just not a thing. It's hard to. Australians don't understand. Um, like these are just like these are it, hometown. No, these right. are, yeah, easily uh, top three reasons to ever immigrate to Australia is pies. You, you, you think I joke? <laughs> What's the first reason? This. Yeah. The roads. Yeah. yeah. The, the moto fields. That's what. <laughs> but no, really though, it's the moto fields. I've gone with the curry pie. I'm a fan of a bit of spice, you know. If that screen is broken, you're just going home. I repair this on Sunday. If this is broken, I'm gonna cry. You. <laughs> Let's do it. Fire out! It's insane. <laughs> oh, Doosh. There we go. Pie in the sky, ladies and gentlemen. What a delicious place. That was actually such a good curry pie. Really spicy. I'm a spice fan. I've done my way. I'm all good. I'm just gonna do a couple of passes. I just wanna get some sick B-roll of his bike and some sick location. Like it's just so hella fun through here. Just pulling the bike around them corners. <laughs> oh. oh man, it crackles. The pipe on that crackles so much. I keep thinking it's just like something hitting my helmet or something. It's just like, like it's just. That's so cool. Yeah, I wonder if you can hear the popping. Oh, I mean, Nick just loves riling people up. He gets right behind him. <laughs> Look how close he is behind us. Uh, I'd never do that. I just get too worried they're just going to slam their brakes on. Buffer zones, guys. Buffer zones. Do not take any pages out of Nick's book apart from buying a street triple, a speed triple, sorry. Because it is a machine of a bike. I'm gonna get him to talk about it soon. 
how sick is this road? I love how everyone's just out. This is a Wednesday, guys. This is a hump day, hump day blip. And I love it. Everyone's just out and about, just, just hooking, carving up, carving up the turns. Getting me all jiggly. A van? What? Ugh. Van. But they look so good. Look at this. Nice. What have you got to say for yourself about this? It's not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah. I'll put it that way. I think that's why I liked it. I'm very fortunate that I get to ride any single motorcycle that comes in through the dealership doors. So I cycled through about 30, 40 different bikes, talking full fairing, scrambler one day, all sorts to find out which one I wanted. You know, and a lot of people were saying like, Nick, why would you buy a bike? Especially in Australia, because you have Rego, ABCD, you know, like it's operating oh, costs. It's but, expensive, yeah. But, and it's fair, it's, it's fair compared to most of the world, but I don't need it, right? Because I can get all my insurance, Rego and everything paid and I don't have to pay petrol or anything. Yeah. Why would you buy your own bike, you know? But it's different for like the enthusiast because you want to have yours. Exactly. It's a, it's a bike that's... You want to do your thing to it as well. Exactly. Like, yeah. Right? Customizing is one thing, but just you feel like you're a part of it, you know? And yeah. that's just an enthusiast thing. A lot of people don't get it. So I was riding all these bikes and sometimes the seating position wouldn't be right or it's way too fast. And I've only been riding for what? Two years now? Yeah, sure. You know? Yeah. But I've never owned a bike. That's hectic, man. Yeah, and that's wild. It. That's yeah, so nice. I've never owned a bike. The way in being what Canada, a first bike, man. But, but, and that's the reason why. Like, yeah, who sure. the hell gets a leader bike, right? Yeah. And I would always tell everyone, stay like, advise against it. It. I was brought to the path of Triumph eight months ago, nine months ago. I didn't know about Triumph. I didn't even know the brand existed. Yeah, seriously. But, and that's why. Right. And when I became a part of the brand, I fully dived in, and I understood what the triple meant. And like the whistle of it, no one will ever make a motor that sounds like it, and it's so renowned. It's just. With the speed triple, being a big dude, I'm 6'4", 125 kilo. Yeah. I need, I need power to move. But also, sure the power is fine on a 675 or a 765 street triple, but it's the weight, you know? Like, you look at it, it's chunky. I sit on it, the riding position, it's ultimate my bike, right? It's big, but it's not massive. Yeah. I want to ride it daily, so I need an upright seating position. Yeah. Big dude wrists already hurt but that's my theory behind this because a leader bike is a lot of power it's huge. And, and that's one of the reasons why i got it is because i'm not nowhere near this bike's capability sure no nor will i be in the next year or two yep and i think you asked before about like a track a couple day. of track days yeah that's when you would learn heaps of these hey exactly and that's why i had a budget and everyone has a budget when they're buying a bike and i was like really tossing up if i should throw the extra two grand and get myself an r give so yourself what an r ah. R. So the R on these, uh, so this is all one generation, so it's uh, 2011 to 2015 speed triples. Big kind of revision from 2010. So that's why I knew I wanted this one because I don't like the globe headlights. Sure. I like the kind of bug eyes. Because that's that's what you always drew me to Triumphs, is like these really unique eyes. Yeah. I didn't like the two globes, they're very classic, but yep. I've always bought old cars. Like I've always had 1980s cars, 1990s cars, $800, you know, buy me money, 300 bucks. But I was telling myself, I'm like, I'm on a bike, man. Like this thing needs to be mechanically schmick 24 sure. 7, especially when we come out here. I was like, you know what? Like spend that two, two grand because you get Olin's front and rear. The R, um, the non-Rs don't have that. They have Showa, which is more than capable. But if I go on a track, I want to be able to adjust suspension, right? So sure. Brembo's on the R, you get four pot Brembo's on the front and a single two pot on the rear. And that was the reasoning behind getting the R and not an MT-07, which keeps ruining our shot. Yeah. And then when I was looking, I knew I wanted a bike that had all the little bits on it, but I wanted it to be tastefully done. Yep. So, you know, like your tail toddy, your Rizoma indicators, your bar and mirrors, all these little things that eventually add up. 
I knew I was eventually gonna change things, but I want something not scratch the itch, you know? Like it has a pipe and it has a, it has everything. Yeah. I don't need to touch it, yeah. but I can eventually create it to what I want to be. So what's the first thing to customize? Yeah, is, is the pipes. It is the pipes. Um, the, the dual cannon under seat is very speed triple. It's very like purist. Um, but it's a problem when you have size 16 feet. Uh, so yes. when I'm going around a corner, the oh, first yeah, day, I completely burn my shoe. That is hectic. Where'd you burn it? I was on your, right, so on your it's, one, it's hey. right here, right there. Uh, so it's fine when I have my foot against the, the, the back plate. Yep. But when I go around a corner, I kind of stick my feet up. I can tend to lean that in there. And you can smell the burn. Yeah, it wouldn't happen to actually, normal, normal foot size. It actually smelled like he was cooking his brakes or something. When he rocked up, I was like, man, I can smell your brakes. But it's like, it's literally his boot just melting against his pipe. But yeah, so uh, the acros are fantastic, but they will actually be removed today and will be discarded for something in the future that I cannot discuss. Ah, okay. but, but the pipe is disappearing, but it'll be a whole, it'll be a whole change shall be louder shall be louder that is good that pipe save lives loud is mo, mo lives <laughs>、Loud、is mo power、um, where can these people find you all right so new insta it's greats underscore speed g-r-8-t-z check him out he's literally just dropped his new insta account drop him a follow it will be greatly appreciated He's gonna be pumping it all. He takes out like every Triumph under the sun out for test rides and everything. So you will be entertained. He's a good dude. And we'll touch base with him once he's got some mods happening. We'll go for another and we'll see how it goes. We'll see you see his vibes and see how he's feeling with it all. He's also on Facebook. Nick Gratton, Dash Triumph Sydney. You want a Triumph and you're in Sydney or if you're in all of Australia, I will get you a Triumph and ship it all Australia wide. Are you serious, bro? Are you serious? I mean, the man himself will tell you that. <laughs> <gasps> All right, let's kick it. We're gonna ride. Let's do it. Woo! Thanks so much for watching, Legends. I'm stoked to have you on board. Please hit like, hit subscribe. If you'd like to see more of this stuff, make sure you follow Nick. He's a legend of a dude, and he's gonna do some serious things to this speed triple. It looks rad. Yeah, boy, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, Legends. I'm Rob Hamilton. Peace.